So these are my EY T32 LoRa transceivers. This is LoRa transmitter and this is the receiver. And in this video, I am going to power up this transmitter using this 20 watt Loom Solar solar panel. So let's see how to do this. So sun is this side right now. That's why I had tilted my solar panel in this side. Now let's check its voltage. Right now our solar panel is generating around 20 volt. And after this bug boost converter, I am converting this 20 volt into around 12.61. Actually, I had tuned this CCCB converter to charge 3 cell lithium ion batteries. That's why this is 12.60 volt. Now this is our LoRa transmitter. As you can see, the antenna is missing because in this project, I am going to use this external DIY dipole antenna for this LoRa transmitter. This DIY antenna is far better than this kind of uh, ready-made antennas. I had also made a details video of uh, making of this antenna. So now I am connecting this external antenna with this LoRa module. This is our LoRa receiver and I am going to power it up using this 3 cell battery. As you can see, here are a red LED will glow. It means right now our transmitter is not transmitting any kind of signal. Now I am going to power up this transmitter using this solar panel. And as you can see, our receiver's LED turned into green. It means our transmitter is already transmitting. And we are receiving here the number counter which is 8, 9 right now. Also we are getting a uh, input voltage of this transmitter which is currently 12.61. So our transmitter is working perfectly fine from this uh, solar panel. No other power source is here. As you can see, the battery is connected only with the receiver and the LoRa transmitter is fully powering up using this solar panel. Our receiver's LED is green now. It means our transmitter is transmitting using this DIY dipole antenna. So this place is around 5 km away from our transmitter antenna and look at the receiver LED, it's currently green. It means we are getting a stable signal from ground level from our transmitter antenna. So this EY T32 LoRa modules are really powerful. So that's it for this video. Hope you like it. If you want to increase your SX 1278 LoRa modules range up to 10 km just by modifying a few line of codes, please check out this video. I'm also putting its link under here. If you want to watch the range test of this EY T32 LoRa module, check out this video here already uploaded in my channel. So that's it for today. See you in another video. Bye.